Hey, how you doing? My name is John, and I have a splinter. Uh, I don't know if you can if you can see it right there. Um, it's there. Come on, focus. Anyway, it's a splinter right there. Uh, it's uh, I think it's metal. So rather than root around in there um, with a sewing needle like I usually do, I decided to try to pull it out with a rare earth neomidium magnet. So we'll see how that works. I'm going to. Um, Put this on right where my uh, right where the uh, oh, there's definitely metal in there. <laughs> um, um, I'm actually I'm actually afraid to uh, to move it. Ow! Ow! Yep. If I if I move it around like side to side. It hurts, I'm assuming, because it's moving metal through my friggin' thumb. Um, I'm trying to get up close here. Okay. Ouch. Ow. <laughs> Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to keep this, uh, you know, so that you guys can see it. You're not going to be able to, I don't think, see any, you know, splinter, but... Ow. It's stuck. Ow. Ow. Ah. Wait a second. Wait a second. I I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that, but that looks like a splinter. Let me um how do I do auto how do you get it off autofocus? I don't know. That's a pretty good macro ability on that thing. Can you guys see that? I don't know if you can see that on the top of that. You see that sliver right there? I'm not sure if you can see that. You see the sliver? It's right, right there. Right there is that sliver. Sliver of metal. Let me see if I can hit it with the flashlight. <sighs> or at least illuminate the area a little bit. So you can see what the hell I'm talking about. It's right there. Light this damn thing up, huh? It's really hard to see, but I got it. I am sure that's the uh, that that is the splinter indeed. I'm going to see if I can move it around a little so you can see it better. I moved it on to the side. I'll be able to get to see a little bit better look of it, I think. Where is it? There it is, right there. See that? That is a sliver of metal stuck to that magnet. And that was in my friggin' thumb. And here is my thumb hole bleeding a little bit where the uh, where the magnet used to be. How cool is that? I never thought in a million years that would work, I'll be honest with you, because I figured that, and I'm no physics major, I figured that a small, small piece of metal like that, let me see if I can just move that around a little bit more even, um, what did I do, move it off to the top? Yeah, that's exactly what I did, it's stupid. There it is on the top there. Um, I figured that, all right, enough of that. I figured that uh, a small piece of metal, um, that there wouldn't be enough attraction between uh, the metal, the hell? I look better, better blurry, actually. I should just leave it. Um, what the hell is attacking me? Um, that, that it would be uh, not enough um, 
attraction to be able to actually pull it through the skin, which didn't really wouldn't really have to pull it through the skin necessarily. You know, most of the pathway I, I would assume was made on the way in uh, the, the splinter. So, anyway, that's pretty much it. I am so stoked that that worked. So I will be uploading this to YouTube. Anyway, um, I will call this uh, how to remove a splinter with uh, with a neomedium magnet. Sounds good. All right, thanks for watching my uh, my tutorial. You guys take care.